I mean, I, listen, I really get why people hate her. I do. Although, I mean, do you see the other thing in this article where she's claiming this isn't really me? Did you see that? Where she's like, it is a show and yes, I'm much calmer in real life yes, and all this. And I'm not. Does. So, I mean, listen, I get why people hate her. And I think on the show, I hate her, but it's like, what do you want, guys? You're all crying in, in, into your tissues that Atlanta is boring this season. So it's what do you want? You Thank hate you. this one. And then when it's real, here's the thing. These shows are just, because I've caught up on Atlanta. I have. And I had Candy on. And I've got a bunch of other Atlanta girls coming on. So I don't want to say anything bad. It's just like, I think the bigger thing is, the formula just is, is, is it's played out. It's like, we get lucky when Luann, Luann is divorcing Tom. We get lucky when Teresa, who's been in jail, finds some other guy that's now like this and Margaret and her, I mean, we're getting lucky. We're getting lucky with Erica Jane. Yeah. Look what, did we expect this with her? Let's not forget before all this happened, Beverly Hills people were like boring, puppy gate and this and that. It's like, we just, on different franchises, we get lucky when Monique and Candace basically go to the mat, you know? Oh my God, it's yes. like, so it's like, I think the average is, you know, we get lucky when a man says he has cancer and he really doesn't on the OC. I just think like- Huge moment. Oh my we, God, we, huge. We, 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 we just, let's not yeah, forget, we, we, we had bad seasons of Jersey. We had many <laughs> bad seasons where we're like, what the fuck is happening? So I just think- Atlanta is going through it like these are normal people <laughs> that are living their lives and they're, they're like trying, but you can't. I know, I some, know. See, some years there's just no matter what you do, there's just nothing there. There's just nothing there. And I, I think you're right. I think that's a great point to make about Atlanta. I mean, for so many years, they brought it. I mean, just Nene and Greg, Nene and Greg separating. I mean, Kim Zolciak, you can argue whether you liked her or not, but you know, big poppy, you know, or big papa, you know, that we never really saw who was her sugar dad. I mean, meeting Croy. I mean, you know, then you have, can you miss more? Come on. I mean, then you have Phaedra Parks. I mean, I always tell the story, you know, I, I met a completely different Phaedra Parks who was Bobby Brown's attorney. When I worked in radio on hot 99, five, you know, we had hired Bobby Brown. We, we bailed Bobby Brown out of jail for, you know, he, Whitney Houston was still alive. I don't know if he beat up Whitney Houston or if he had violated a court date, I think. So he was arrested. We posted his $22,000 bond. Phaedra was his attorney and he was supposed to come and co-host the radio morning show, the Kane show for one solid week. We bailed him out. We paid the money. He did not want to show up. He didn't want to come to DC. He missed the flight. I mean, Phaedra was like, I mean, she was such a calm attorney. Like, I, you know, my client is in violation. We're going to get you this. I mean, she was great. She was great. And then, you know, I see a totally different Phaedra on TV. Okay. Slow down. <laughs> back. Hear. Take Never the bus. The story. Back the bus up. Back okay. it up. So okay. wait, your radio station said what we actually want an interview because Bobby beat down Whitney. And so we're going to pay the money to get him out of jail just so we can interview him. I'd like to just start with that statement. Is well, that what I, happened? Sort of. I don't remember. Really? I think I don't think it was a domestic violence uh, charge because I don't think we would have done the bail on that. I think it was 2009. You know, it was still like at the height of all the Bobby Brown, um, Whitney tabloid stuff still. Perez Hilton was huge at this time. So Bobby, I think, had violated a court order where he was supposed to turn himself in and go to jail. Anyway, he, so then he's arrested. He, he has no money at this point. He's broke. No one will put up the $22,000 bond. So the Kane show on hot 99, five, we had said, if he will come and co-host every single morning with us, you know, from like seven to 10 AM, we'll pay the $22,000 and Forever? he can come on. Like co-host for no, 10 years. Only, only a week, only a week, five okay. days, five. He had to do five days, Monday through Friday. So he and Phaedra had agreed to this. We posted we gave him the $22,000. We posted his bond. He was released in Atlanta. He was supposed to fly from there directly to Washington, DC and be on the cane show for five mornings. We were putting him up in the hotel, the whole work, the whole works. We do that. He decides he's not, he's not getting on the flight. He's not coming. Like screw all of you. I don't even know to this day how, who, who paid back the $22,000, but the, the promotion or whatever that we were doing with him never happened because he, and Phaedra was on air with us basically saying my client, yes, my client, you're right. 
did not, he took the money and he scammed you guys and he is not coming and we're going to have to pay back the $22,000. This would have been 2009, long before Housewives. And Phaedra was calm and professional oh, and cool. I mean, the and- opposite of everything that you see on television. She was great. She was so professional and, and, you know, representing him. I don't think she said that he was like unprofessional, but she basically implied that, that he was a hot mess. And I think he was still like in the throes of his addiction and all that. Yeah, is- it was- it was That's interesting. And yeah. mind you, like there are moments where I watch Atlanta. You know, it just, the thing about Atlanta is unlike, this is the difference in the OC and Atlanta. OC to me, I love Heather Dubrow. Everyone knows that, but the yeah, pieces yeah. weren't there. I'm like, we could get rid of this entire cast. Atlanta, it's almost like worse in a sense, because I mean, I'm watching, these people are superstars. Like you have, I mean, there are moments where Kenya's doing a confessional. I'm like, she's so good. Marlo, so good. Sheree, Sheree, she by Sheree is back. Candy, like we have superstars, at least four, we have four superstars. I don't know, maybe like, it's just, it's it's something is a little off. I'm not, not gonna watch. I enjoy it. I love these women. It's just- I don't know. Or do we put too much pressure on Atlanta because it's Atlanta? And if this were Potomac, we'd be saying what a great season, but the, the, the bones are there. The bones are there, you know? And I mean, I got to feel like, and of course, you know, Candy, you, you have interviewed Candy. I mean, I have to feel like at this point with Candy, she has so much going on outside her businesses, music, her children. I mean, I've just, I have to wonder like, for candy, is this just a promotional outlet now? Like, does she really care? You know, I, well, I don't the know. rumor is Miss Burris also gets 2.8. So I think well, maybe when she cares, you, maybe she cares a lot. Okay. No, I don't. I think if she, it ended, she well, she said on my show, if this ends, make no, make no qualms about it. I'll just, instead of, you know, the 12 hours a day, I'll go write a song for 12 hours. <laughs> so she says, you know, but I think, you know, in the twos, you are like, oh, I mean, it's not that bad of money to go and spend however long to film it. And I think that's part of it. I think, I don't think Candy's going anywhere because of the money, but I think if she was asked to leave, she would be truly just fine, honestly. If her I'm, time came. I'm just bringing up um, about Phaedra Parks being Bobby Brown's attorney. Um, and just that in his book, Every Little Step, he um, essentially, Bobby shared how Phaedra seemed to be more concerned with the attention she was receiving as his lawyer instead oh. of defending him. Oh, uh, quote, my lawyer at the time was a black woman named Phaedra Parks, who went on to become a reality television star on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her later television stardom didn't surprise me because she always seemed like she was craving attention and publicity. Every time I stepped into the courtroom when she was my lawyer, there would always be a host of television cameras. It was as if she had her own traveling media contingent. I even complained to her about it, telling her I didn't have I didn't like having the press there every time I approached the courthouse, but didn't seem to deter her. And she was on our radio show. Mm-hmm. He, so continues, he continues wow. with Phaedra as his attorney. I usually wound up going to jail, which he did. Uh, 